Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. The governor said he is working in parallel with the Guam Contractors Association, which along with local construction companies is suing the U.S. Citizens and Immigration Service over a policy that has seen foreign worker visa approvals come to a standstill. Calvo is working another angle. He is seeking the military support and getting USCIS to ease up, arguing that it also impacts DOD's plans for the massive relocation of Marines from Okinawa to Guam. In a recent trip to Washington, the governor met with Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral John Richardson. I shared our concern about the rate of denials for H-2B visas as it pertains to national security and our economy. I told him about that critical mass point that's coming up, coming up real soon. Calvo is also pleased that the Deputy Secretary of Defense, who signed the programmatic agreement that helped push through the military buildup, will remain. So there is a continuation of institutional knowledge. So with Bob work there, I feel very good about a, a consistent message going to folks in the Trump administration. The governor is more confident about working with a fellow Republican in the White House on a matter he believes is critical for both civilians and the military. If this H2 issue is not resolved, we have an economic disaster coming up. The continual denial of petitions are hindering about $8.7 billion in U.S. military construction and about $1.3 billion in non-military economic growth. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Leconto. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.